Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about versatile nature of carbon. Okay, so till now that we have seen, we have seen that the formation of covalent bonds. Okay, like the single bond, the double bond and the triple bond of different atoms like uh, hydrogen form a single bond oxygen formed a double bond and nitrogen atom generally form triple bond okay by and the covalent bond is the bond in which the sharing of electrons in various compounds and elements occur and we have also seen the structure of a simple carbon compound like methane CH4 which is like this CHHH -H. okay so means the four electrons of carbon the valence electrons of the carbon gets combined with the four with the one electron of each hydrogen atom each okay so in the beginning of uh, this chapter we have seen many things like we use uh, contain carbon in fact we ourselves are made up of carbon compounds so our body is also made up of carbon compounds the number of carbon compounds whose formula are known to chemists was recently estimated to be about 3 million students it is very high number of elements of carbon compounds so those are actually known to us they are much more than that which are not known to us yet okay so these outnumbers by large margin the compounds formed by all the other elements put together so these are only the carbon compounds which are three millions okay so now we will discuss that why is that this property is seen in carbon and no in not in any other elements okay so the nature of the covalent bond enable carbon to form so that is why we are here discussing about the versatile nature of carbon okay so the first point the two factors we have noticed that is the, and the first one is carbon has the carbon has the unique ability to form bonds with other atoms of carbon with other atoms of carbon okay giving rise to the large molecule And this property of carbon is called as catenation. The unique ability to form bonds with other atoms of carbon giving rise to the large molecules and this property is called as catenation. And these compounds may have long chains of carbons. Okay, so let me first delete this student. So this is known as catenation and the property these compounds may have long chains okay of carbon atom branch the chain of carbon first is long chain second is branched chain of carbon okay in which every carbon atom arranged in rings okay students so in addition carbon may be linked by single double or triple bonds so the carbon can also make double bonds triple bonds and single bond double and triple bonds okay so i am discussing here that the 
two factors and this is the first factor that why the nature of the carbon atom is very versatile okay so no other atom exhibit the property of catenation to the extent that is seen in carbon compounds means the large chaining the large compounding of atoms okay silicon form compounds with hydrogen which have chains up to 7 or 8 similar also exhibit silicon also exhibit similar property but up to 7 or 8 atoms only of hydrogen okay but these compounds are very reactive and the carbon carbon bond is very strong and hence stable the bond between the two carbon atoms is very strong and hence it is very stable and the second factor now we will discuss about the second factor that carbon has carbon has a valency of 4 okay so it is capable of bonding with four other atoms of carbon or atoms of some monovalent elements like ch4 or it can be also uh, ccc like this also so this is c3 this is c5ho so i uh, i am just giving you the example of this formula means it can form the compounds with carbons also and hydrogen or double bond with oxygen also so i am just giving you the example students so that is why the nature of carbon atom is very versatile so i hope that uh, now you are pretty clear about why carbon is so versatile in nature okay so if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then please do comment in the comment section student i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning